What's up guys, in this video we're going to be going over the Ensemble and Phaser insert effects. Each layer has its own Ensemble and Phaser right at the end here, and they're great ways to add movement to your sound. So, much like a unison, free running unison, and uh, we'll just stereoize that one. Great way to make like a simple saw into something sounding bigger, just by boosting the voices. There's another way to do it with our Ensemble here, and that modulates, so we'll just turn that on. And we'll go to our ensemble effects here. It's an effects too. It's on. It's a. It's just a way to have modulated delay. So what it does is it does somewhat of the same thing, and it modulates it with two LFOs, the delay and the space. You can have different pans, and the width is what you want to look at. So you can have up to eight voices of this. Nice and big and wide. You can have varying degrees. You can have extreme. Probably might not want to have that. You want it slow. It sounds like unison, but it takes not as much DSP. Right? So we can have, say, a unison of four. And that we can have like a very, like a big sound. So 8 times 8 is 64. We can have 64 uh, voices at the same time. Big, big sounds. And uh, that's really awesome. Um, we can uh, vary the delay. And uh, space to get like more space. Just a varying degree of uh, delay. Uh, modulation and it has its own EQ right and you can kind of shave things off because sometimes unison does some weird things in the low end you might not care for and uh, yeah that is ensemble very useful what we have here we have our phaser so this is our phaser so what a phaser does is it stacks up uh, multiple copies of itself and then modulates the delay between them with a uh, modulation thing here. And there's different speeds as well. And the speeds are here and they're syncable, which is good. So what that sounds like. Right. So that's what classic phasing is. It's basically doubling up that. So we can have multiple stages, multiple, as you go up in stages, uh, you get more of an intense effect. And, uh, Usually you want the mix to be, you know, around 50%. You can have it extreme. Uh, typically I have it around here, and it's a great way to add movement. You can have a very slow. And the feedback is the amount of phasing, like the feedback. Right? See those little peaks there? Always good and fun. So with that, and our ensemble effect here, we'll have a two. And then we'll have, say, eight voices. Right. Big, big sounds. Big, loud sounds. And uh, yeah, that would be our two inserts. And uh, yeah, I hope you learned stuff, and we'll be back with some more fun things. All right, take care.